Good evening. I'm Jay Violet Gannon, the Executive Director of your Manchester Community Library. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual evening of holiday music with the Taconic Chamber Players. This is our gift to you, our beloved community. Rest assured you are all here with us tonight in spirit. We wish you a happy holidays and look forward to the new year ahead. Please join me in welcoming Ari, Joanna, Heather, and Nathaniel. Good, Good evening, everybody. We are delighted to be here in the beautiful and your Manchester Community Library um, for this annual, what's become an annual event, and we hope we can see you in person next year. Um, but nonetheless, cozy by the fire are we. If you have a fireplace at home, fantastic, or a libation, adult or otherwise, to compliment, fantastic. And we have done our best tonight to bring a wide range of music for you that we hope encapsulate, encapsulates the promise of the season, musically speaking. So just to embellish ever so slightly, we have first violin, this is Heather Braun, our good friend, Joanna Genova, my, our my co-director, or I'm your co-director of Taconic Music, also violin. I'm playing the viola, which is slightly different, but not that different. And over here to my left is Nathaniel Park, and he plays that grand prince of string instruments, the cello. Um, we are going to start off this evening's musical offerings with a touchstone of classical music, Johann Sebastian Bach. Kind of set the mood a little bit reverentially, if you will. So this is the Sinfonia that begins the Christmas Oratorio, a piece composed in 1734, a collection of cantatas that celebrates starting with the Christmas season and going all the way through Epiphany, I yeah. believe is the correct that term, <laughs> um, in various stages of celebration. So we begin with Bach, who has some but he said somewhere along the way, Bach is Bach, as God is God. <laughs>
So the next piece that we're going to play is because it's somebody's birthday today, somebody very important. His name is Ludwig von Beethoven. Uh, today is his 250th birthday. And of course, Taconic today? and... I think it's like, today. Right now? Well, maybe it's right now. I don't know. Okay. Right now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, he, uh, all musical organizations all over the world were planning these big celebrations for his 250th birthday. Um, when we do this, you know, it's a, it's a Beethoven year, we like to say, and then we play a lot of Beethoven. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen quite so much, but we can still do it this way. We're going to play the scherzo from his string quartet, Opus 18, number 4. Um, this is the fourth string quartet in a series of six that he wrote in the late 1790s. Um, this one is very light and bubbly. It's a scherzo, which means it's kind of a musical joke. And what I love about it is it's very conversational. You know, as a string quartet, it's the, uh, you know, we really get to have conversations with each other, with the music. And this is a perfect example of that. So, happy birthday, Beethoven. <laughs>
transition back to our holiday uh, themed uh, performance. We're gonna play a piece, uh, we're gonna play We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Okay, everybody knows that one. This is an arrangement by Matthew Naughton. Um, he's a composer and arranger, I believe he lives in California. Is that correct? Yes. Um, and he's really uh, famous um, in the string quartet world. He, he's created a lot of these really great arrangements of tangos and waltzes and jazz standards, you know, from the great American songbook. He, he's a really fantastic arranger um, for this uh, genre, this kind of stuff that we can play um, pieces that are not necessarily just strictly classical. So he made an arrangement of We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and it's going to sound very familiar. Um, it says, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, arranged by Matthew Naughton, and then it says, With apologies to Ludwig von Beethoven. So this might sound very familiar uh, to, compared to what we just played before. <laughs> Classical music nerds everywhere. <laughs> I love it. I think it's awesome. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Absolutely. Our next piece is the beloved The Most Wonderful Time of the Year by Pola and Weil, and was made famous by Andy Williams, who made a hit by Andy Williams, in fact. And that will be followed by Moonlight in Vermont by Carl Sustor. The lyrics are by John Blackburn. He was, uh, for a time, a professor at Bennington College, and apparently he wrote the lyrics to this song at that time. And one more interesting uh, point about this, the Moonlight in Vermont. If you know the lyrics, um, you won't be hearing them tonight, but you could sing along. Um, each verse is actually a Japanese haiku. Oh, I do.
next composer is actually very local. Jeffrey G lives just across the border from Vermont and after this beautiful, moody moonlight in Vermont, we are also lucky to live here. And his piece is also sweet and sentimental. It's called Letter from Home and he wrote it for us in 2017. For many years we have been so lucky to collaborate with local schools with their students who would compose pieces for us, we'll go to the schools, uh, rehearse with them and bring their music to life and ultimately do concerts at the library and perform their pieces for the public. So for many years we have had this wonderful collaboration going and multiple times in the year we are here in this space, uh, sometimes actually in the children's barn playing family programs, sometimes in the hunter hall, sometimes this is actually our first time here in front of the fireplace. I really like it. <laughs> I like the atmosphere. But we are always cooking up collaborations for adults, for kids. And my plea to you is please support this gem in our town. It's a unique space. It's enriching to everybody in our community and it creates so many opportunities. We miss it so much when it's closed. We feel very lucky to be able to be here today without an audience, but hey, we're looking at the camera, playing for you, imagining you're here, and looking forward to next year, when we are all going to make it through this and be again together in person, and have a nice big celebration. So one more time, thank you to Manchester Community Library for hosting us and being such an incredible partner. And here is Jeffrey G's letter from home. Thank you. 
There's something wrong with your chair. <laughs> the next piece we're going to play is the Chardash uh, from the opera Deflator Mouse. Uh, Deflator Mouse is an opera that was written by Johann Strauss Jr. in 1874. And Deflator Mouse means the bat. Um, and it's a very um, uh, comedic opera. There's a lot of, um, oh, shoot, there's a lot of like practical jokes and um, people that are, you know, mistaken identity and practical jokes and people trying to kind of pretend that they're something else other than what they are. And then all the comedy and fun ensues. Um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful opera and hilarious. Uh, this is a chardash, which is usually a Hungarian um, uh, type of gypsy uh, piece that is played. Um, in the opera, this is sung by the character Rosalinda, who is pretending, again, you know, everybody's trying to pretend that there's somebody else. She's pretending to be a Hungarian countess. Um, so, of course, she's going to sing something that is Hungarian, which is this chardash. Um, it's super fun and really fun to play, actually, yeah. holiday season. We describe it as such for a reason. I did not intend to rhyme that. <laughs> um, but we have actually right now we are getting toward the end of the festival of Hanukkah. I believe this is the seventh night, the 16th. There's one more tomorrow evening. Um, so the basic idea is light in the face of darkness. And we thought that this year perhaps especially, although there are many years as such, this is an apt metaphor for heroism and miracle in the face of difficulty. So we have a, sh a medley of four pieces that refer to Hanukkah or otherwise refer to miracles. Um, o Hanukkah, Maoz Tzur, also known as Rock of Ages, sung while, often while lighting the candles. Al Hanisim, which is thank you for the miracles, and Hanukkah, Hanukkah.
Our next piece is called Christmas Cornucopia. It is certainly a cornucopia. <laughs> this is by composer and violinist and conductor Kermit Poling. Uh, he wrote this in 2010, and it's very much a medley of many Christmas tunes and holiday tunes, um, jingle bells, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, um, on the 12 days of Christmas, um, we hear a little bit of excerpts from Handel's Messiah. We'll hear a little bit of the Hallelujah Chorus from Handel's Messiah, and then we'll also hear a very brief excerpt of From Unto Us a Child is Born from Handel's Messiah. Uh, Tripack from the ballet The Nutcracker, which is usually done at this time of year. Um, oh, Christmas Tree, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I'm sure I've missed one along the way, um, but it's super fun <laughs> to play, and um, it sometimes can be kind of like hard to keep track of where we are exactly because the transitions are super quick, but it's awesome. It's really fun to play. See if you can catch Rudolph at the end. Right, very, very end. <laughs> Gershwin 
uh, Rialto Ripples was his first published instrumental work for solo piano back in, all the way back in 1917. Oh my gosh, that's over 100 years ago. <laughs> I just did the math. However, uh, this is obviously an arrangement for a string quartet uh, by Martin Nautin, which is one of our favorite arrangers. Uh, and I forgot what I was going to say. I completely forgot. Oh, it's, well, it's a rag time. Okay. There you go. I <laughs> <laughs> completely. Yeah. <laughs> songs for many reasons, and they were both written under the same influence of inspiration, or perhaps perspiration <laughs> might have been more appropriate. Mel Torme, the man with the golden voice, wrote this, the Christmas song, otherwise known as, well, you know, um, and Leroy Anderson wrote Sleigh Ride during a blistering heat wave in July I'm pretty sure 1946, or thereabouts. And they were both really trying to channel cold, cool thoughts in the middle of, of a heat wave. Mel Torme with his chestnuts roasting on the open fire, and that maybe next year we'll get a little <laughs> pot with some <laughs> chestnuts roasting. Um, and, of course, sleigh ride and horses and lots of snow, which we are anticipating this evening. So, these two, I think, for many, capture a flavor of the season that we're all very familiar with and that we love and look forward to each and every year. And, once again, this wonderful, wonderful community library, which is such an incredible resource for a community, please support your library. We need this badly. So until we meet again in person, we wish you happy, happy holidays and enjoy the rest of the music. We'll see you soon.